Hello, this is Simon Judd. This is an extract from one of our Insights packages, and this one concerns membrane bioreactor configurations, aerobic versus anaerobic. So we're back with our side stream MBR, starting with the process tank with the aerobic and anoxic zones shown there. That is fed with wastewater via fine screens of one to two millimeter rating. The sludge is taken from the process bioreactor and fed directly into some horizontally oriented multi-tube membranes arranged in a long serpentine-like path in order to provide the required conversion. The aerobic zone of the process tank is fed with air via fine bubble diffusers in order to provide the system with oxygen. The permeate is extracted under pressure from the multi-tube membranes and the sludge or the retentate from that returned back to the anoxic zone of the process tank. And finally, sludge is wasted from the process in order to maintain the solids concentration at an appropriate level. To convert that to an anaerobic process, well, first of all, you have to make the tank bigger because anaerobic processes are slower, so they need more time to do the job. Then you have to seal the tank to retain the gases for which uh, there is a significant amount of methane and that methane has to be collected and preferably reused. It can't just be discharged to the atmosphere because methane is a significant greenhouse gas. That's why cows have such a lot to answer for. Now for the immersed anaerobic system, the side stream membrane is replaced with a membrane immersed in a tank. That tank has to be sealed in the same way as the process tank in order to retain all the biogases. And that membrane has to be scoured as with the aerobic immersed process. But in this case, air can't be used for that task because air contains oxygen and we have to maintain anaerobicity. So instead, the off gas from the process has to be used in order to scour the membrane. Now, if fate is kind and there is enough methane produced from the organic material entering the anaerobic process, which then is subsequently converted to methane, then no additional equipment is required. But uh, this appears not to be the case in most instances. That does mean that a blower is required in order to uh, pump the uh, gas through the membrane tank and a sort of recirculation loop set up between the membrane tank and the process tank in order to provide the necessary gas flow, which needs to be somewhere around about 0.2 normal meters cubed per hour of gas per meter squared of membrane. And that is the anaerobic MBR process as compared with the aerobic one.